Hello, Motodians. Hello, Moto friends, and hello, Moto family members. I am him, MSG, and this is MSG Moto Vlogs. Let me know how everyone's doing out there. Also, let me know what type of winter projects you have underway in the basement or the living room or the back shed. I love hearing about that stuff, and it's so cool to see what people come up with during the winter months or the off season. And this video uh, was recorded the day after we recorded the Honda Silverwing neglected CVT transmission video. In that video, we went thoroughly through the disassembly steps of the Honda Silverwing 600 clutch, its components, and the variators and their components. We cleaned everything well and we lubricated what needed to be greased. We stopped short of replacing the belt, but we did a great job on this old FSC 600 Honda Silverwing. In this video, which was taken the day after, we, doing, we did a 21 kilometer commute, morning commute, to see if there was any type of change in performance in the old blue maxi scooter. If you guys want to jump straight to my findings, go down to the first comment and you'll see a time mark. That's when I'll give my, uh, my final, final thoughts or my final results. And while you're down there, drop an emoji, a thumbs up emoji. That'll be great. I'll know you guys are listening. So let's get to it and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Thanks.
Okay, so final thoughts, conclusions. What did I notice? Well, well, let's just begin. Here's the thing with scooters. Scooters, maxi scooters, all scooters. They have this inherent flat spot at low speeds and stop and go situations and parking lot maneuvers. I mean like when the clutch disengages, there's that few seconds that it'll take or half second, whatever. The time it'll take for the uh, clutch pads to swing out and grab the bell housing. So you have this sort of like a flat spot. And as we know, the Honda Silverwing CBT isn't nearly as sophisticated as some of the more higher end transmissions like uh, the BMW or this new one that's on the market, dual clutch designs. Anyone new to the Honda Silverwing would definitely notice this weakness right off the bat. But I was in for a pleasant surprise. I, uh, I noticed that the clutch engagement happened sooner than before uh, we cleared out all those chipmunk nuts from the dryer vent. And getting off the line felt quicker as well before the intervention and rehabilitation of this poor neglected crotch rocket. The overall performance improved, which increased the comfort as well as the driver's enjoyability, which is a big factor. If you don't enjoy driving your bike, would you continue to drive it or would you try to source a new one? I was impressed to say the least. There's no wonder why Honda Silverwing owners love their two-wheel dream machine so much. It's a pleasure to drive, and especially when it's performing at its top, it's a dream. And without a doubt, this is one of the easiest maintenance jobs uh, that anyone can do with a few simple tools. Plus, you get to know your investment, protect your investment, while getting to know your scooter even better. So get out there and start wrenching Motodians. That's all I have for this uh, video. I'm MSG from MSG Moto Vlogs. I uh, just want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, and hey, drop a comment in the section below. If you feel like anybody else could use this video, don't forget to share it to them. Just want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, the fun isn't over yet. Yeah, you guys can still watch another video. So I'll, uh, I'll post up three videos that you guys can watch at the end of this one. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay blessed, and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Just want to give you guys a big thank you from MSG. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed and you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscription button. Don't forget to hit the little bell for notification every time I upload a new video. Thanks again for watching, guys.